Good evening and welcome to Metro Focus. I'm Rafael Piroman. It's the second storm to hit us in a week. A nor'eastern once again barreling through the northeast. And it's not just our area. More than 50 million people from Philly to Boston are under winter storm warnings and watches. By the time it's done, we could be looking at up to 7 to 11 inches in New York City and Westchester, and as much as 15 to 20 inches in some parts of New Jersey. And what's truly staggering, estimates show that the snow will accumulate at a rate of 2 inches an hour at points. According to the National Weather Service, the storm is expected to let up late this evening. But any way you slice it, travel is not recommended. And beyond the snow, Coastal flooding and high winds are also a big concern for the area. Many are still without power from the last storm, 18,000 customers in Westchester alone. And some in those communities won't see their power restored until March 9th. Tomorrow we'll look into this incredible weather pattern and the forces behind it. But first, Metro Focus correspondent Naeem Douglas is standing by. He spoke to some weather-weary New Yorkers to find out if they've had enough. Naeem? Thanks, Raphael. And talking with the New Yorkers here, most New Yorkers say they are definitely weather weary. They are tired of this winter weather that we're getting, especially the stuff that you see falling on my head right now. It's been totally gray for the winter time, and they say there is time for a little bit of a reprieve, a little bit of some springtime weather, but not all of the New Yorkers I talked to said that. Some say they like the winter weather and are embracing it. I like the elements, man. I don't mind uh, change of the season. I got family in the Dominican Republic, so I, I keep a home there. Family in Montreal, so I'm up there. And uh, I do like to put on a jacket, as opposed to being in uh, shorts and flip-flops all day. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the summer. Yeah. I'm ready to go, wait to go, get ready to wait to go to school, graduate this year. Okay. Tell me, when, when this, the winter, come, winter comes, just what is it like to be stuck in the house all winter long when it's snowing? Oof, uh, that's the worst. I just hate being cold in general, you know. I just want to go back to the motherland, the Dominican Republic, to this nice weather. <laughs> I'm definitely a spring-fall person. Um, I'm originally from Miami, so learning to deal with the snow is very challenging, and I'm definitely about ready to go back to Florida. Um, yeah, pretty dreading this rain, sleet. Ice. I don't even know what it was going on right now. It just feels like it's been gray every day. Um, it's almost depressing, you know, the grayness. There's no, you know, leaves on the trees, obviously, and all the buildings, and just it's, it, it starts to, like, grow on you and hold you down. So you don't mind the, you don't mind the, the winter? Absolutely not. I don't want to be as cold as I am when I'm in Montreal in the winter. I've never been that cold in my life, but uh, New York, you know, it's easier to get uh, to cool off. I'm sorry, it's easier to warm up than it is to cool off. I spent a lot of my life in Brazil and Thailand, so I think that I'm just like made for the beach and for nice weather. <laughs> when, so you, this, this is not your first winter in America, is it? It, it is. What, what, was your, what was your first winter in America like? Terrible, I arrived during the first day of the storm um, and I've been here for three months now. Um, but yeah, it's been quite difficult for me. <laughs> I guess like at first it's like a beautiful scene where it's just like you see white snow, then the next day it just turns like really muddy and just like nasty. Did it make it hard to get to get to school or anything like that? Yeah, the trains be delayed. That's the worst. That's the worst. And then like when you get to school, you got to serve detention if you come late, so it sucks. You know, I have a five-year-old son, and it's when you have small children, it's hard to, you know, really in the city make access to the winter. It's not like we're in the mountains, so we can go and you know ski and snowboard all the time it's just in the spring and in the summer being able to go to the parks and let the kids run around it's just a totally different mindset are you hoping that this is the last or it might be actually be another storm after this have you heard about that one um i hope it's the last i mean i definitely want to be able to watch the yankees without any snow or have like a winter coat on you know first of all i don't know what you're supposed to wear it's very impossible to figure out what shoes to wear because do you wear snow boots, do you wear rain boots? Like, do, can you wear your nice shoes? They all get ruined with the salt. Um, what coat do you wear? Because it gets like warmer in the middle of the day. It's super cold in the beginning of the day and when the sun sets, so it's very challenging. It's a little confusing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> New Yorkers definitely weather weary and we'll be keeping an eye on the possibility of another storm coming through the area. But we're also encouraging people to send in their photos of this winter weather. You can tweet at us, that is at Metro Focus, and also on our Facebook page as well. For now, I'm Naeem Douglas for Metro Focus.